Thomas, can you introduce yourself and tell us who you are and what you do as part of the Starag Group? Yeah, so I'm a part of Starag Group since 2011 right now. And I'm a production uh, uh, sales manager, product sales manager for Starag, yeah. So I'm in charge of the Bertie range of machine tools based in, uh, produced in France. So it means Bertier TVU, vertical left, and Bertier RVU, vertical grinder. Okay, now the reason we've got this screen behind us here is because we've got an aircraft engine and yeah. part of your purpose is the fact that you can make every part of that engine on one of your machines, is that correct? Or engineer a solution in order to make them as efficiently yeah, as possible. Yeah, exactly. Uh, in the Bertie uh, range, we produce vertical left, so we are able to make all the turning operation of a lot of type of uh, aircraft engine and with a common solution with also Starag machine STC we are able to achieve completely all this type of geometry in one group in one system yeah. and what are the challenges that you would face on some of these parts on on an engine because they're pretty tricky parts aren't they? they've got to be we've got to be right yeah yeah exactly first uh, things is the material is really hard material really tough to cut yeah really strong so it's for that, uh, to achieve this type of part, we are using some technology, uh, meaning high pressure coolant, 350 bars on our vertical left. So it's that we use to, to cut this material. Yeah. Okay, and is there anything else as well? Because there's lots of operations yeah. and lots of yeah, features. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, as there is also some operation by milling, like five assist milling, it's for that. We have the chance inside the Starag Group to have the both technology, vertical left and machining center. And on the machining center, you can achieve all the complex five axis milling. Uh, also, like the, the slot on the turbine disc, uh, we achieve by milling, yeah. And what is the most challenging part when you take an engine like this? Ha, 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 you've obviously been involved in this since 2011. I, I want so. to say most is all, but yeah, we could speak about the fan disc also, it's, it's quite tricky. Yeah. Why is that tricky? What's the trick? Because we, as you can see, there is first this is a tough part, hard material, but after you will have all the, the, the thing to do around the part, you have the power scaving, you have to raise that. So you have really a, a lot of uh, features to achieve at the end. So. And it's not just aerospace though, is it as well? We're talking about aero engines, but it's broader. Yeah. Could you maybe describe what other markets and industries that you work? Yeah, so about our, our engine, so we, we're working with all the, the big players to, to, who supply aircraft engines. So, and and we, 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 we bring them, yeah, the, we can say, the best solution to, to realize their, their parts, yeah, combining these two types of, of machines. Yeah. But it's not just aerospace? It's talking. not just aerospace. Like, for example, on a turbine disc, it's also the same technology during the energy, in the energy field. You can find the similar parts, so yeah, we also go in the energy market for this type of part. Yeah.